Alright guys, Operation Suez. Let's see what we can do. Alright, be sure to uh, bring your smoke rays on the first try. Because uh, you'll need them. Because there's going to be a lot of snipers on the hill. The problem is that how, how long can I actually stay here? That is a question. So by smoking off this side, I will be, I'm actually able to uh, to peak higher above this uh, wall. Um, this, uh... this mountain of, of sand, of course. You get him a nice headshot. There, there is the guy. All right, so the guy that I damaged really hard is actually. I should have hit my first shot, sadly. Alright. That was a regular sniper, so he would actually die in two shots if I would have gotten the headshot. Alright, so hopefully this guy doesn't die. Um, my teammate. Now the problem on Suez, Operation Suez, is that the enemy team actually does get a behemoth in the beginning of the map. As defense. Normally you get behemoths on attack, but in this case you actually do get one on defense. Uh, this makes it really, I think, almost impossible to actually complete Operation uh, Suez on the first try, like we did on uh, Foul Fortress, without a problem. Um, I think the same sniper is still up there somewhere. So I'm gonna smoke this thing out. Yeah, the guy's still there. I think he's even here. Okay, I'm actually confused right now, because I... I think I saw the guy here. Okay, I'm really, really happy to get the headshot on that guy. Without the headshot, it would be so much harder. I need to take my shots a little bit better. Right. Just control your shots, just continue, and you'll be able to, to breach it. Alright, I think I get some revive. There's still a guy in the flag, boys. There's, I think, one more in the flag. Alright, let's get the res in there. And we should be able to take the first point. It's actually pretty fast. I mean, okay, we did lose 50 tickets. Now, the problem right now is gonna be this one. That's a big ass shill. Alright. Now the question is, how far can I peek here without dying or without getting sniped? Okay, this is gonna be maybe a little bit problematic. Oh god, yeah. I, I heard the shell falling, didn't work. Uh, what magnification is this? I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's 2.5 or 3. One of the two. You can actually do like a glide while crouching um, and you don't really get the animation of you sticking the needle into your teammate's body but you do get a revive so it's like uh, you save a little bit of time that way. Alright we're gonna push up from the left side. Now the problem is I don't have my smoke grenades anymore so it's gonna be rather hard to actually clear it to get a nice hit shot. Um, I do like the fact that we get a lot of medics, but honestly, I we need a tank. Something that, that takes the damage off of us. Because right now, that behemoth is just... He's just gonna sh put a shell on my face and I'm gonna die. That's the shell. Oh my god, oh, it's a different mortar shell. I would have died no matter what. Alright, now we should be able to um, to damage that tank. Alright, actually, uh, damn, I, I, re no, I wanted to actually die, because I'm going to try, and this is a big try, big if, I'm going to try and go from the left side, crossing the street, hopefully teammates will spawn on me, and I'm going to try and damage it with the, with the mines though, um, for a secondary I'll take the uh, automatic trench, alright, uh, this teammate will survive, Hopefully. You can also take the horse, but the problem with the horse is that you're you're not the anti-tank class or the assault class. So that option that might be not that good. Uh, that's really bad that I got this hit though. Yeah. Uh that's a bit unfortunate. No no the good thing the only good thing about the behemoth on the enemy team is that the behemoth is making foxholes for us. 
Um, that is basically the only good thing about it. Uh, the bad thing is that he does a lot of damage though. So we do have a tank or two tanks actually shooting it, which is actually really good. But it's not dying fast enough. And that option, it's bad. It's the same guy. Uh, this is a, this is yeah the classic defense. There's a lot of mortars, uh, the behemoth as well. Should I wait for? I'm gonna wait for the revive. I mean, it does save as a ticket, and I still have one smoke grenade left, so I can go from the left side if I don't die here. I think this guy died finally. That's a really bad grenade. That's one. Let's continue pushing. That's three, but I'm still gonna die from the demon. I think it's still worth it though. That I'm sticking this far. I mean, like, look how much time and resources they actually invest into killing one guy that is... Okay, I wasn't the flag capping, or capping it. Um, but I, I wasn't that big of a threat. I mean, like, if you look at the... Um, tanks actually they're destroying uh, the behemoth right now so the behemoth actually did die at the moment which means that I am going back to medic and I'm gonna try and provide the cover that my teammates need of course uh, I was just about to get away and then as soon as you just stand still for that I don't know four seconds four or five seconds you will get a mortar on your body which is bad of course alright now since the left side is open right now, you can actually uh, continue attacking from this side, which is really helpful. You can actually stand here if you want, and if my teammate would not be showing his uh, his body right there. Still hitting something, so uh, just continue shooting, I guess. Wow! Okay, he actually damaged me. Guys in the back on the left. Half of our forces remain. They didn't see it. Okay, we did capture it, we have taken the and my teammate actually noticed it at the last second, I think. He didn't. No, he died. Alright, so I'm gonna... Okay, now he died. The other guy died. I can still revive my teammate, I think. If I can get fast enough towards the guy. Alright, All right, he's not resible? Oh, okay, it's the horse class. Sad. I thought it was a regular class. Then it would actually be possible. Alright, let's push from the left side. My god, the recoil punch on this gun. If you keep spamming with this gun, it's uh, rather uh, interesting. Half of our forces remain. Wow, he actually shot me right through the smoke. Damn, nice shot. Ah. Not worth it to revive him. I don't think I can shoot. Alright, we did take uh, Alpha. Let's continue to Bravo. There was a guy there. Can't see him anymore. The telescopic bar is like, amazing actually on this side. Enemy medic, don't, don't. That's first aid for you. Teammates actually sometimes... Sometimes teammates, they don't wait for revives when they should. I mean, we just lost a ticket because of that. I know it's only one ticket, but still, it's still worth it. You got wait damage. for a revive. No! I think it was a heavy grenade. Uh, heavy grenade. Uh, impact grenade. Back grenade does actually a lot, a lot, lot less damage. Ah, oh, I thought he didn't see my face. Yes, he did. Will I be streaming later on my own channel? Um, I'm not sure exactly. Kind of depends on a few factors. All right, we are pushing uh, heavily on to Bravo, so I'm gonna wait with the respawn, then I can spawn on. We have uh, taken the sector. Guess one of my teammates. We get some really good tank support. I gotta say, those two tanks they completely nailed it with kidding the behemoth. So that was really, really good. That cat just got squeezed by so many people. Unbelievable. 
Stay behind a tree. I was just about to say stay behind a tree and I would survive, but I didn't see the field cannon or field gun. Alright, I might get I might wait for the revive. But the question is okay, so now he can revive because the field gun shot. But he doesn't revive me. He's eight meters away, that's not a lot though. I think he's in another foxhole. He needs to hurry because I'm gonna die. I think he's cr is he crawling to me? Oh good job man. Uh, thanks Ronnie. Uh, I'm level 86 at the moment. Artillery sighted. Ready? Whoa! Okay, that was not a good idea. I can back you that shoots really accurate. Okay, I got the guy. What's up, boys? Alright, I have two smoke grenades, so we're gonna use it. Oh! Oh wow, he actually smoked me. That's really good though. Uh, my teammate should have waited. Because I could have recovered. Alright, uh, it's a bit of a smoke screen. Push up a little bit. There are two guys on the right here somewhere. There is. I'm going blindly a little bit here. I know I'm being shot on the left, but... No, don't hit the barbed wire. Alright, we're still okay. Okay, we're good, we're good. Open up this lovely window. Hmm. Oh god, I think my, my tank killed the wall. Oh god. I want to have a nice overview into people crossing the street. But the problem is that I really can't get the right crossing. Again, this guy could have waited for a revive. People, uh, people are a little bit too impatient in this game. They, uh, they want to revive in the first second. Actually, they die, but it's not always possible. Of course, this is a nice overview. That was uh, a few bad shots in there. Okay, I'm getting low on ammo. Use that there was a second guy next to that. Oh my god. Alright, we're gonna cap the flag here. Nice. Taken the sector. We're going uh, pretty hard here. Oh, I can't really see anything to side. I can see an enemy I'm still get attacked. Alright, I'm really low on ammo. Um, I'm gonna see if I can actually find some ammo. Need ammo now. Somewhere. Maybe. Maybe I should just switch. I think it's a sniper, maybe. It's a shotgun. Interesting. Yeah, I don't think a shotgun is the right play here. I need to switch as fast as I can. Is a rifle? Okay, we're good. That's an enemy tank, that's bad. I'm not sure what's on the right there. There's a guy. Oh wow, I can pull this off. Oh my god, I saw him running completely, completely the other side. Torture. Let's see what we got here. That guy just got him. Right? No! Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna switch again here to uh, medic this time. He didn't revive him. Okay. Whew. Made it. Getting closer and closer. I see a guy there. This is the mod dragger. So I'm gonna see the difference between that. Wow. I'll fix those wounds. I think my teammate sacrificed. I got this guy. I think my teammate sacrificed to kill their tank. 
What a boss. The final objective is within our reach. Oh, two teammates going on the stairs and getting shot on the back. And I was like, there has to be a guy behind them, right? Sadly, like it had to be a shotgun. I think anything else but a shotgun would be okay to maybe get a 50-50. Uh, in this case, a shotgun, yeah, he didn't really have to aim even, um, and, yeah, pretty easy though. Alright, so, Alpha, uh, I'm still trying to cap it, uh, I think the tank is dead, if I'm mistaken. Uh, I'm gonna smoke it out there. I'm still getting hit by the gas. There's still a guy upstairs, but this way he will not see me. <laughs> Wow, I messed up so badly here. That tank's still alive! We have taken okay, we got the second turn tank. No, I didn't see it. I'm not sure if my teammate survived from that revive. So sometimes he gets a little bit of a revive protection. I apologize. Yes, it's I try, but of course, I'm trying to explain what I do. It's not as easy. Are you kidding me? I shot him three times. He has 11% left. Is that possible? Hmm. Weird. Alright, 45, 10. Um, last attack is going to be actually the hardest one. Because we only have 45 tickets it's left. And we are still going at it. I mean that revive. I really want to revive as many pop people as possible, of course. Because we need those tickets. I damaged him twice, he's still alive. Still in that house. Okay, now we died. I think we're good. This house is clear. Oh, uh, yeah, still 50 tickets to cap the, uh, the last flag. Alright, let's smoke out the, uh, the hill. Smoke grenades should have been coming slightly faster. <laughs> I always forget. I always think like the smoke grenades instantly pop, but it takes a little bit of time to actually let them pop. Now, I did smoke it for my teammates, so my teammates are uh, trying to advance the hill. And I actually did get a revive in the process, so that's actually worth it. In my opinion, that's, uh, that's definitely worth it. So this guy needs to heal back. That guy needs a rest. I'm not sure if this, this is not my, sm my smoke grenade, right? Because I don't know exactly what is happening. Oh, there was a tank. Oh, there's still a tank. Okay. Nobody of the other guys spotted it. So a revive here um, is not going to work it. So uh, we'll have to do it like this. Alright, so the big tank is going to be the big problem. Hence the big tank, right? Unless the tank is absolutely not going to care for the flag. Which is possible. They still have multiple enemies in here. Oh god. Okay, I actually didn't notice that the guy spawned behind me. I wanted to place a little bit of mines for the tank um, if he would be driving backwards, but I think he's still sitting there on the hill. Uh, bit of a bad attack right there. Um, we're still alive though. I mean, this guy's still alive. Oh, that's so close. Sadly, they actually defended it at the end. Um, if the flag would still be ticking away towards their end or ours end, it would actually be overtime. Or like kind of an overtime. Um, sadly, that didn't work, so we'll have to recap the last section. Uh, I think it would still be fine. It was really close, though. But you have to understand that they had the behemoth in the beginning of the game which uh, boosts your defense a lot. But now we actually get the behemoth in the beginning, so this will boost our attack a lot. So I, I think uh, it's gonna be fairly short game uh, to eventually uh,
close this one out. I don't see them defending uh, this when they had such a uh, big trouble defending the first three sections. Alright, so casually spawning on the horse. I'm gonna try and go a little bit around. Problem is, I don't have that much overview about what's happening. Basically, if you stand on the left side a little bit, um, you will have a lot of cover from the uh, from the tank, of course. That kind of worked, right? Alright. What I want to do is actually, I want to save. Wait, I can actually go this way. Perfect. That worked. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I didn't expect that. <laughs> I, I, I thought there would be guys sitting next to the wall right there. But I I did the first run with the horse, but I didn't see anything. So, right. your name is Balfour now. Uh, I'm actually streaming on the Balfour channel at the moment. That's why. Uh, first aid for you. That's why you will be able to see that. All right. So we're pushing up here. Thank you. First aid. All uh, right. Making a squad. Making some room in the squad. The problem is I will have to make a completely new squad, I think. We've got to capture the position. Okay, that didn't work. The, smoke the smoke's down. First aid, get patched up. People always think like you need grenades that can kill people. But in operations, you actually don't need that all the time. Sometimes a smoke grenade is much more interesting um, to use. And much more effective to use at the same time. Alright, so the mines that you can see there is actually enemies. So it's actually good at the And the recoil is the same. Oh, the gas grenade behind me. Oh, that was so close. So close. Uh, Musta, yes, there is a giveaway tonight. Uh, it will be a Battlefield 1 Ultimate Edition copy. Alright, so, we completed it. That was actually still a good attack, though. If you only lose one attack on Suez, uh, it's actually pretty good, though.